Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Rebecca Carrera and if you're new here, go and subscribe, like, share and comment and if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today I am finally with a video that isn't a haul. I feel like it's literally been the longest time ever since I haven't filmed a haul. But here we are, we're going to be doing something different and I am so excited because this video is all about hair and you guys know how much I love hair. I'm literally obsessed with it. I mean, I can't really speak much for now because my hair is literally the worst it's ever been. There has been no, obviously no chance of me getting any sort of work done to my hair because of the third lockdown. I'm not going to complain because there's worse things going on but the roots and the hair quality is just... We're not even gonna talk about it, but this is why it has been the best time to be sent some hair extensions. So thank you so much to Maxwell Hair Extensions for sending me these hair extensions ready to test for you guys. Now, it is not just Maxwell Hair Extensions that this video is about. I am actually gonna be testing for you guys Amazon hair extensions. Now, we all know that hair extensions are extremely expensive, so if we can get some cheaper hair extensions on Amazon and they work just as well as our top brand hair extensions, why not? So, for today's video, I'm gonna be testing those for you so that you guys don't have to. I'll be letting you into all the little secrets of two different Amazon brands. So, I've got the Maxwell hair extensions that were kindly gifted to me, and I'm gonna be testing them alongside GoGo hair extensions that I've been using over Christmas just to see how they are and testing those myself. If you're as excited as I am for today's video, go smash that thumbs up button, comment down below, and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start by just showing you the Maxwell Hair Extension packaging. So this is what it looks like. I think this looks extremely professional, a really nice kind of gold metallic colour on the front and just a simple little box. And then the hair extensions come completely clipped together like so. I think this is such a beautiful blend. These are M-Blend hair extensions so that they blend naturally into your hair, which is absolutely amazing. Because I think the worst thing that can happen is when you're trying to buy hair extensions, it's just extremely difficult to match your hair, especially if you're a girl like me that has kind of highlighted blonde hair. I can never find something that works. I mean, at the moment I've got two different colors and we're not gonna talk about it, but I just think something like this is gorgeous because you can see lots and lots of different shades of blonde which is going to match perfectly into my hair. They also use Remy Human Hair which is really really nice because it makes it super soft and super natural feeling whereas I feel like some extensions can feel really like rough and not quite like human hair I guess. Um, these are extremely soft as I was just saying, as you can tell I'm just brushing through them now because oh, they feel divine. But I'm super excited to put these into my hair. Also, with these hair extensions, they use almost double the amount of hair on the top of the hair than they do on the bottom. So it does feel like it gets thinner towards the end, which I think is fantastic. Because if you think about your normal hair, you're wanting the, the top, the bit that you're going to be playing and doing bits and pieces with, to feel much more full than the bottoms. So I think that is a really, really nice touch just to make it feel more natural, as I said. So I'm going to be comparing these to the GoGo hair extensions that I have been using at the moment which is why they don't look particularly inviting obviously the last time i used them i must have curled my hair now these are just as nice extensions in terms of color but these are slightly rougher in terms of putting my hand through it if you can see it's just not as smooth and i think that's to do with the type of hair that the uh, maxwell hair extensions are using so as you can see they're quite similar in color i would say that the maxwell hair extensions are ever so slightly brighter than the remy hair extensions but both match my hair perfectly. I think this is gonna give an overall more kind of blonde feeling than this one. This is more a natural feeling. But again, both really, really nice. And both were around the 80 to 90 pound mark because I got the 22 inch clip extensions. So you want to be thinking about that in terms of, for example, Beauty Works hair extensions, you're paying 150 pounds upwards. This is almost half price. I think we should get straight into clipping these in. I, I'm super excited to see how these are going to turn out. So obviously I'm not gonna bore you guys with putting both of the hair extensions in. I have been testing the GoGo hair extensions a lot and they do clip in really, really nicely. Sometimes I do feel like the clips are slightly weaker so they kind of fall out a little bit. I'm really excited to put these in because obviously you guys know I absolutely love wearing hair extensions. So so if this is a option for me to order these on Amazon, absolutely, Amazon Prime every day. Let me count how many pieces there are. So that's got four clips. So, that, so that's actually different to the GoGo hair extensions because the GoGo hair extensions only have three clips. So that's slightly longer and it's going to go around your head. So how many do we have? We have two of the, oh, that's a three clip. So we have one four clip, one three clip, another three clip, which I tend to put on the back. And then we have three two clips. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to use, so this is just how I do my hair. So obviously there is a lot more hair in there if you need be. So there's two three clips, 
one, um, three two clips, two three clips, and then you get one four clip on there. So I'm going to be putting in the four clip round the back, and then I'm going to put one of the three clips. Oh, I'm losing my will to live here. I'm going to put one of the three clips a slightly higher than that. I'm going to leave out one of the three clips, and we'll have a little look if I need to thicken it up at all. And then I'm going to use two of the two clips, and I'm going to put one either side of my head. So that's usually how I do my hair extensions with any hair extensions. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take the four clip, and I'm just going to brush that through. So now I'm just going to give you a little tutorial of how I put in my hair extensions and then at the end we can have a nice finishing result and see how we feel about the hair extensions. Straight away these clips are slightly more manageable than the GoGo -Go hair extensions. The GoGo -Go hair extensions are slightly tougher. These clips pop open quite nicely which is really really good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a hair band. So before I tie my hair up, I actually just found this as well. This is a one clip hair extension, which is perfect for any sort of area where you feel like you just need to fill it up just a little bit. So I'm going to start by taking the four hair extension. And all I'm going to do is at the back of my hair, I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny little section underneath here. So just pull out a really, really small section. Again, I'm going to sit here and apologize for how brown the back of my hair looks. We're not even going to talk about it. So I'm just going to tie up like so the rest of my hair into just like a little top knotty bun and again I'm just leaving a really small section underneath which is where I'm going to clip in the extensions. So let's just do a really messy bun for now. Do do do. Obviously it's not going to look like that. Yeah, beautiful. Never looks so pretty. Right, okay. So I'm just going to clip in those extensions. I'll do it kind of sideways. Right, and I'm just going to tuck those into the hair that I've left out. Oh, that clips in nice and easily. These clips are really tough as well. So even though they're easy to clip open, they are really tough in terms of clipping to the hair. Like that was really, really easy to put in. Right now it's not gonna look like the same color because at the moment I've got really brown underneath. So we're not gonna talk about the color match for a second because that brown section is not my hair and won't look like my hair. But can we just appreciate the length difference? That is incredible, oh my goodness. Right, it is slightly thinner, so I think I'm gonna put in more extensions than I thought. So again, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna take down just a tiny bit more hair. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't want to waste what's left and So I'm just going to take a final one of the three clip hair extension Just because these hair extensions do feel slightly thinner Which isn't a bad thing because you can build on them because they give you so many It just means that they're definitely um... Oh, here we go Good There we go just giving you guys kind of a length idea there. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna drop down the entire rest of my hair and just make sure that that's all covered at the back, which it is. And then I'm gonna drop forward. So now it's gonna slightly match more in terms of the front color of my hair is definitely more the color of the hair extensions. Then that silly bit at the back that, again, I still haven't even gone into a story time on my story, what happened with those hair extensions. I mean, with my hair dying situation, but, oh well. My hair's starting to look a little bit orange on camera, has anyone else noticed that? Just me. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you guys a rough look at the moment of the length, which I think is incredible. That is 22 inch extensions, and that is actually incredible. Then I'm gonna just take over the side of my head. Now, if you guys have watched my Beauty Works clip and extension video, you guys will already know how I put in my hair extensions. But I am obviously just gonna show you guys again with these hair extensions. I take over just a rough half, and then I'm just gonna clip those two clips into the side here. And again, and then I'm gonna flip over just to cover that up. And that's just added a little bit more length to the front to let that blend a little bit better. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And 
then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush all of those hair extensions into place just so that they blend through naturally. Make sure you're going into the middle as well. And I'm going to show you guys what the final result looks like. So, first of all, just through brushing this, this is an extremely light set of an extensions. I don't even feel like there is extensions in my head. Like sometimes, especially maybe with the GoGo -Go extensions a little bit, I feel like when I shake my head, a clip is gonna fall out. These feel super secure. They feel like they're literally not in my head at all. That's how light they're feeling. So I don't even feel like I've got hair extensions in, which I think is always important. I just think it looks so much more full. It looks so much more blonde. It really does have that kind of glossy finish as well. I feel like this is something you would get when you're kind of gone to the salon to get hair extensions. This looks incredible. I, I'm impressed. Considering these were only about 90 pounds, I'm gonna put in the description below exactly how much they were. I think this is a really, really incredible alternative to more expensive branding hair extensions. Amazon hair extensions and as you can tell I am extremely impressed I was really impressed with the GoGo -Go hair extensions as well as you can tell I've been using them over the Christmas holidays these are slightly darker though so they didn't give me this kind of glossy salon finished hair that I was expecting and I am really really happy with the Maxful hair extensions again I'm gonna link both these products down below anyway so go and check them out it really really does save you a lot of money if you can get these kind of alternatives these brands that are doing cheaper products are just as good and sometimes you just need to take the plunge and have a look at them and test whether they've done. So I've done that for you, I've tested them and as you can see, there is nothing wrong with these at all. They feel so lightweight, they feel so natural in my hair, the color is absolutely amazing. So go and check the link in the description below and go get your hands on some hair extension girls. I just use the shade blonde in both hair extensions, both GoGo -Go and Maxful hair extensions. Finally, thank you again to Maxful hair extensions for sponsoring this video. I was so excited to film this video because you guys know how much I am obsessed with hair. Comment down below if there's anything to do with hair that you guys do want to see in my videos and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button because I was so excited to be filming this video. Thank you for staying all the way to the end of this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!